Hey all you people, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to describe my five favorite things about our fourth gen Toyota 4Runner. And make sure you keep an eye out for the video on where I discuss the five least favorite things, because everything has its drawbacks if you look hard enough. First things first, I'm going to start out with my favorite thing about the fourth gen Toyota 4Runners, and that is the drivetrain options. The standard engine on the 4th Gen 4Runners is the 4 liter V6 engine, the 1GR FE, and that is perfectly adequate for most people who are going to buy a 4th Gen 4Runner. They're reliable and they make a decent amount of power, coming in at 245 horsepower at 5200 RPM and 282 pound-feet of torque at 3800 RPM. But what sets the fourth generation of 4Runner apart from other generation of 4Runners is that Toyota offered it with a 4.7 liter V8 engine, the TUZ FE, which gave them more low end torque and optimized the 4Runners for towing. Between late 2002 and 2005, the V8s made 235 horsepower at 4,800 RPM and a respectable 320 pound-feet of torque at 3,400 RPM. And that gave you more access to that torque down low in the RPM range, which is better for towing. At some point during 2005, the V8s got variable valve timing, which helped bump up that power figure to 260 horsepower at 5200 RPM. I think that when it came out, the two-wheel drive equipped V8 4Runners were able to tow 7,300 pounds, which at the time was more than any midsize SUV would offer, probably more than any midsize SUV offers today too. Now, you guys watching, feel free to fact check me here and comment if I'm wrong, but I think along with the capability and smoothness of this V8 engine, the VVT models were able to sprint from zero to 60 in around or under seven seconds, which made the 05 and 06 4Runners the third quickest Toyota models ever sold in the United States at that time, being bested by only the Mark IV Supra and the manual MR2. So, I mean, we've actually tested this, uh, and the zero to 60 time in our fourth gen, which is at 170,000 miles, was just a hair over seven seconds. And to put that into perspective, that's still quicker than a brand new 2021 4Runner. Another thing that I really appreciate about the fourth gens is their functionality and livability. I think livability is a real word. Livability. Yeah, yeah, it's a real word. And not only are they capable SUVs, but they're easy to live with. The interiors are relatively configurable. There's lots of interior storage. All the buttons and gauges are easy to read and use. And the stock ride of the fourth gen is very comfortable. It's not stiff and it's not trucky, and the whole chassis just feels like one piece and very stable. Also, the fuel economy probably isn't as bad as you think. I know these V8s were kind of gas hogs, but the other day when I was cruising at the speed limit, really taking it easy on the gas pedal, I was able to squeeze out 21 miles a gallon on the highway. Also, I think it's important to note that the Forerunner can and does sleep a not so handy car guy. It perfectly fits a twin sized air mattress in the back with the rear seats removed. <laughs> Sam and I have taken this on plenty of trips and slept in the back and it's very comfortable. The kind of four wheel drive system that Toyota uses in these isn't super common amongst other brands. They have full time all wheel drive and four wheel drive. Let me explain. The all wheel drive system means that under normal driving, the 4Runner is much like a Subaru or an Audi Quattro system, where there's an open differential in between the front and the rear axles. And that allows the front and rear axles to spin at different rates, which is good for road use. But 4Runners and most Toyota all wheel drive systems offer a center locking differential, which turns the all wheel drive into four wheel drive. Now what this does is lock the speed of the front and rear differentials, making sure an even amount of torque from the engine is applied to both axles. And although a lot of off-roading pure prefer the 4x4 drivetrain, the four-wheel drive in a 4Runner is better for off-road use than the regular all-wheel drive in, say, a Subaru. Now, I personally like these all-wheel drive systems, especially for my girlfriend, who actually drives this more than I do. And for her, she prefers to have a system that just works and doesn't require driver involvement. But if her and I are on the beach or up in Maine on the logging roads, we have the option to lock the center differential, and that is very welcome. Okay, so the second to last thing that I really like about the fourth gens is the styling. Now, styling is obviously subjective to opinion, and a lot of people on my other video commented that they prefer the styling of the third gen. Now, with Toyotas, there's a lot of designs that I think that they nailed, 
and there's a lot of designs that I am really not a huge fan of. Now, the 4th Gen 4Runner is probably my favorite looking 4Runner when it's built up, when it has aftermarket bumpers, rock sliders, maybe a lift and bigger wheels. But when they're kept stock, uh, a lot like this one here, I think they're about on par with the second gens with the kind of rugged square lines of that generation. Now the best stock looking 4Runner is hands down the Gen 5 TRD Pro. But the price tag of that just takes it off the table for a lot of people. There is something about this fourth gen though, the looks of it that just get me in the right way. Uh, maybe it's a combo of the hood scoop with the spoiler and just the proportions of it in general. And the, the fifth gen just looks too unfriendly. It's like you wouldn't want to approach a fifth gen in the front, but the fourth gen, it's smiling at you. You're gonna have a good day in that fourth gen. And lastly, I have to mention the legendary durability and reliability of these vehicles. The fourth gens are starting to show their age a little bit as the last of them rolled off the assembly line in 2009, which means that the youngest fourth gens are about to be pushing 13 years old. That being said, they're gonna start having little issues here and there as even components of the most reliable vehicles break down eventually. But for the most part, these fourth gens can take quite a bit of abuse, especially the V8 models, which were kind of beefed up for towing. The suspension and the drivetrain of these are classic Toyota in the way that they're overbuilt. And the transmission, the transfer case, the differentials, they all hold up really well to years of abuse and towing. And you know what? There's examples out there of this V8 engine lasting over a million miles with just a, a few minor repairs. That should say something about the reliability of these drivetrains. But anyhow, that is the top five things that I love about our fourth gen 4Runner and 4Runners in general. I would genuinely appreciate you guys liking this video and subscribing. I'll be posting updates on the 4Runner, my GTI back there, and other car projects that are in the works. Thank you guys again for tuning in and hanging out. On that note, take care now, bye bye then. What do I do with my hands? <laughs> of course, I picked the most busy and noisy day to film. No shoes dance, the no shoes dance. Uh, uh. What do you think of the shirt, huh? That's really wrinkled, but pretty cool, right? Not so handy car guy.